Welcome back to what RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is an AMX 50B, it's a tier 10 French auto loading oscillating turret heavy tank and it's located on the south spawn of Erlenberg Encounter and it's under the command of Jiffy of Otter and he's now in Mahu. I have to keep saying that because he has switched glance. Okay, game started. Well, this heavy tank has a 120mm gun with 400 alpha. It's got four shots in the clip, it's an autoloader, and it's got a fairly long reload. If I remember correctly, it's something in the order of like 30 seconds, 35 seconds, depending on if, if you've got um, a rammer with uh, vents, a good crew, and all that. Well, Jiffy's going to be taking this one off to the west side of the map. 48 rounds of standard, uh, well, no, is it 48 rounds? No, it's 56 rounds of ammo to play with on this tank. Slightly better than the uh, you get with the Batch at 25 ton, which is the last battle he was in. He's got two marks on the barrel on this one as well. Yep, and he's found his first enemy. Oh, he's found another one as well, and it's a mouse. Okay, right, this is going to be a bit difficult. Mouse are normally found in the towns. This one's decided to go uh, scouting. I wonder if it's Sophie. No, probably not. At least I hope it's not. If it's a mouse and it's out scouting, yes, it's probably Sophie. But it's on this occasion, it's not. No. Haunted Tank is the name of the player. I always have to check, quick check there because it might actually be Sophie. She's known to take the mouse into very unusual places. Well, somebody is capping already. It is an encounter battle, so it is all about the cap in the centre of the map. Of course, Jiffy wants to kill all the enemy tanks. He doesn't want the cap. There's bound to be somebody who'll do it. Okay, now it's better. He's got shots on the enemy. KV-4 puts one through the side of the turret. Goes for another shot. Looks like he did get that. 368, both low rolls. And he's now headed over to this side of the map. The east side. Okay. You can still get shots on the enemy if he can see them. And yes, it seems that we can see them because we've got teammates over there. And he's heading back over again. Nice move there. He's got the option of going into town, but is he going to do it? Looks like he is. Oh, oh. Errant VK, get out of the way. Okay, E75. You can easily deal with him, no problem. Here we go. Just got the side of you. Just going to unload all the shells into you. Tracked him. Go for the drive wheel. Yes, nicely. Nice. Go back to the garage. Good. Okay, he's out of the game. Okay, we've now got a bit of a long reload. I would say to some heavy tank drivers, if you think about actually parking in that little corner there, uh, don't. <laughs> Archie can hit that spot. I know I'm giving away our secrets, but you'd be surprised how many people actually do go into that corner thinking, oh, I'm nice and safe in there. You're not. Absolutely certain we can get you. And Jagdpanther 4 too, rather. That, that shell didn't go there, but that one did. So he's got his second kill. Tracked the object 705, going for the low plate, gets that one in, but now he's got no shells. So he just has to sit here. Oh, he took a round through the gun from the Scorpion G, and he's got that. Uh, there's an AMX 30 and a Lurva behind him, but I think it's the, the Lurva's in, near the castle. And this is a bit of a traffic jam, and this is a shame. And uh, we just lost the VK. He was taken out by our the enemy strip. Okay, we're not loaded, but we're going to charge this 30 down. And once we're here, okay, we've got the shots to take him out. Two more rounds. That's it. One more. And he's out the game. Okay, that deals with him. 
get back into this little area for the moment. Gives us some protection while we reload. Okay, we've lost the VK. We've lost the VK100 OP. We lost the VK4502. Who's next? T32 is very low on hit points. No sign of the enemy in the north, but we know that the Scorpion G fired around at us through that gap. I doubt if he'll come into town, though. The enemy have a Heshbon out on the east side. Oh, Striv comes into sight. And luckily we're loaded. Two rounds into him. Is he tracked? He is. And he's about to die. Yep. That was a good one. He was waiting for somebody to come in. And it was the Striv, which is a lucky shot. Because uh, now he's out the game. Also, the problem is he's gone into this corner. And now here comes the Lurva. There's no... There is an RT in this game. He's just seeing at the moment. Can he get shots on that Lurva? He's making the Lurva think that he has got ammo. And he's loaded. The Lurva's looking at him. And now the Lurva's dead. So that's five kills. One more he gets his top gun. The Hesh! The Hesh bomb comes into sight. Oh, he misses the chance with that one. Get it the next one. And, oh, he didn't have enough shells to put him out of the game altogether. But he is now reloading, and another Striv's been seen across the river. It's a Striv S1, and we've got the Scorpion G just around this corner. So, yeah, we've got guys behind us and in front of us, and he's still not loaded. He covers himself in the window, but he doesn't cover himself in the Striv, who's just across the water. Okay, he's loaded. One round in. Second to kill. No, didn't get the kill, but... Somebody else did. Now, deal with this scorpion. And he's out the game. That's his sixth kill. And that's his top gun. Now, the mouse is to the south. And he just hit us for 484 hit points. He's reloading. And so are we. There's only two left on the enemy team. The hedge farm was finished off. So there's a chance he might be able to get a Radley Waters. The Object 261 is in the north. The Wizzy 1201 GFT is going to take care of him, though. So I think the, the Radley Waters is out of the question. And the Object 261 has been killed. So that's it. Rad no more Radleys. But he does have the top gun. And it's just a matter of finishing off the mouse now. He's loaded a clip of APCR. He's got 16 APCRs ready. Okay. Went for the turret, but he couldn't get it. It was a bit of a snapshot. He couldn't get it right on target. And the mouse driver is not very experienced because he actually positioned his turret pointing directly at us. And that's our full clip. The mouse fires and doesn't get any damage. And now we just need to keep something between us and the mouse until we're reloaded. It'll only take one shot to take down that mouse. Just one. But if he gets him, that wins the battle. And here comes the Wizzy 1201 GFT. He wants a piece of this mouse as well. He's loaded already. And yeah, he gets the kill. So trying to get the damage. But he got 9.3k at least. 9.4 maybe. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Guns raised in victory. And it's an ace tanker for Jiffy in the AMX 50B. He managed to get a duelist, fire for effect, a bruiser medal out of the miners. Out of the battle hero ones, he got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game and a top gun for getting at least six kills. And oh my gum, look at the win eight from that one. It was 20,942. And that's mostly because the amount of damage he actually did in the game. And you have to scroll the page to see all the targets he hit. Let's have a look at team score. 9,359 hit points of damage in that game. He dominated it. 
He did a huge amount of damage to the enemy. And the next high scorer was, in fact, the Heshbon with 4,185 hit points. And after that, the VK4502B on his own team with 2,049. When it came to kills, he had the highest number of kills as well. Six kills for Jiffy. Three kills for the Wizzy1201 GFT, who got that uh, last kill on the mouse right at the end. He picked up a Lonan's medal in that game because, of course, he's tier 8 and he was taking down higher tier opponents. And when it came to uh, base XP, 1,395 for Jiffy, that's an ace tanker, 1,150 for the Wizzy1201 GFT, and 775 for the Charioteer. Jiffy fired 29 rounds, got 28 direct hits and 25 penetrations. Good accuracy. A few of his shots didn't get through because they didn't hit the right spot straight away. 9,359 hit points, of which 1,538 were at more than 300 metres. He received five hits from the enemy. Three of them penetrated, two non-penetrations. Yeah, I'm afraid the armour on the AMX 50B, it's a bit like the Bat Chat in the sense, actually. It doesn't have great armour and therefore it can be penetrated if you can hit the right spots. 490 hit points of damage blocked by armor, 3 enemy vehicles spotted, 11 enemies damaged, 6 killed and 806 hit points of damage assistance and he got 11 defense points as well, killing enemies whilst they're in the cap. Now I know the results here are the wrong way around but that's because the um, replay manager had a bit of a fit back then. Uh, 80,259 credits on a premium account and after repair ammunition resupply and consumables he actually made a profit of 21,592 credits. He got 5 bombs for the medals and 1,395 XP. 1,047 for completing the mission and events, 2,442 experience points altogether. So an epic battle there by Jiffy in the AMX 50B shows how versatile this tank can be. And uh, yes, he, he certainly acquitted himself very well, getting a very high win eight from that battle. If he continues doing that in the AMX 50B, it won't be long before he's got the third mark if he hasn't already got it. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.